What's good, YouTube? It's Link Legend Ross, and today I'm here for another Nintendo Switch game of Bucks. And as you can see here, I have two packages that just arrived from Best Buy. I would have recently picked up Octopath 2, Octopath Traveler 2 for Nintendo Switch, and because I got it from Best Buy, it also comes with a steelbook. So let's go ahead and show that off in this video and see what we got. But as most of you know, um, Octopath 2 is a uh, sequel to the first Octopath. I believe it came out in two. 2018 i believe i don't think it was the first year of the switch but i think it was the second it's um it's a highly well received game for the most part and um going over most of that um this the team the dev team over at square enix um team asano they've been putting out lots of other games for the nintendo switch so going along with that you could just say you know I think this is their fifth or sixth game for the Nintendo Switch. I own three of them currently. I own Bravely Default. I picked up uh, the first Octopath like maybe five, four months ago from GameStop. And then last but not least, there should have also been... um. What else? Yeah, those are the ones I got. So this will be my third one. But there's also Live Alive. I believe that's what it's called. And then there's Triangle Strategy. And at some point, I will pick them up and unbox them on the channel if it's preferred. But as you can see here, like I said, Best Buy did deliver these day one. This video won't, probably won't be going until the day after or so. But um, I know most people say that, you know, Best Buy is not the best for buying games. And they don't come. But me personally, I haven't had much of an issue at Best Buy. Usually if I have an issue, it'd be like with GameStop or maybe even Target. When it comes to day one releases... But yeah, this is the um, Octopath Traveler 2 with the um, Steelbook from Best Buy. So let's go ahead and um, open this up so we can see what the inside of it looks like. So I've been really getting on my um, collecting Best Buy. Um, not really Best Buy, but I've been really getting on, on my collecting Steelbooks. I don't know if I showed any Steelbooks this year of any unboxings. But I do say that um, the game itself... like. Like I said, this is what the steelbook looks like, so very nice. GameStop, um, not GameStop, but Best Buy, they always have these, you know, pre-order bonuses for getting steelbooks. And I mean, it's not the worst because, I mean, unless you're like, like um, I know a game that came out this week because a lot of games came out today being the 24th, like Kirby, and I think something else also came out, and then... There's that Digimon game that I'm going to unbox. When that comes out, I'm, my um, order on Amazon, since it's on Amazon, is back-ordered. So I probably won't get that till next week sometime. But I will say that, at the very least, when it comes to getting games, Best Buy hasn't let me down yet. Between the, um, like the limited run releases and the occasional... Um, day one pickups for steelbook editions of these games but i'm gonna go ahead and read the back and as you can see here embark on an adventure all on your own in the world of i'm just gonna skip that a new travelers venture forward forth into a exciting new era where would you go what will you do whose tale will you bring to life every path is yours to take and there goes the screenshots Explore a wide world set in a bustling era. Choose between eight new travelers with interesting, sto intertwining stories. Excuse me. Outsmart your foes with the turn-based break and boost combat system. And it's one-player TV, tabletop, and handheld mode. Another thing: if you're not so sure about these Octopath games, there are demos. There are demos on the eShop that you can actually check out. So at the very least, if you're not even remotely sure what you think of the game you could at least pick it up so there's no inside art which kind of sucks and i believe octopath was the same way i don't got my octopath case around me but um here goes the game cartridge so that's what the game cartridge looks like it's nothing special you know usually this is what the um games look like but once you put the game into the um i'm gonna show what the game actually the game cartridge looks like in the steelbook real quick and then I'm going to go ahead and put it on my Nintendo Switch and then go from there. So this is what it would look like if you have it just in the thing. So, but yeah, the most recent Best Buy pickup I would have done getting a Steelbook would have been um, Final Fantasy VII Reunion. 
And like I said, I picked that one up in store, but I could have probably got it delivered and it probably would have shown up day one, but yeah. So yeah, all the uh, Team Asano games, especially the ones on Switch, they all look like this. So let me go ahead and see if there's any day one updates. There is something. Okay, let's check and see what the gold coins look like. Um, I want to see if I can get gold coins on a Japanese account. But also going forward, you can get 78. Um, I believe um, Octopath 2 is also on the PlayStation 4 and 5 and PC. Oh, I didn't quite read that. Whatever. Um, you can get gold coins on a European account also. And you can get gold coins. It's always 60 for North America. So, yeah, there's that. So, if you like the video, let me know what you think about it. Subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Let me know, have you played any of these Octopath games? Octopath, Bravely Default, any of the Team Asano um, Square Enix games. Just let me know, have you ever played any or not? And I'm going to go ahead and end this video out. Like and subscribe. And as I always say, have a nice goddamn day. Goodbye and have a good one.